Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I want to teach you how to do a drum roll or more specifically a buzz roll. All you need to do is have a pair of sticks to complete this exercise. You don't even need a practice pad like this one, nor a snare drum. You could even just tap on the floor, you could tap on uh, a hard surface. You're going to need something where you can get a bit more of a buzz and a strong rebound. Okay, so you're probably wondering how on earth do you do a buzz roll like that? Do you have to move your hands really fast? Well, the answer is no. What you're doing is you're pressing the stick and you're getting a number of bounces or a number of buzzes from the stick. So there's two parts to this exercise. What I'd like you to do now is to pick up the stick with your strong hand, your dominant hand. I want you to pinch it with your thumb and your first finger. You're going to pivot halfway down your index finger, like so. You're going to wiggle it like that. I don't know if that's a better angle for you there. Don't forget to hold your stick about a third of the way up. Now, if you've ever been bored at school, maybe you had a pencil in, like, during the class, you're kind of just a bit bored like this, you're gonna use that approach where you're now gonna drop the stick and let it drop and flop. A bit like you're really tired, you're gonna just go to bed and just fall on the bed. But in this case, you're gonna get some rebound. Now, one tip I would say is avoid holding your stick or angling it too high. Um, try and get as level as you can with the surface, the best angle of attack. What you'll find when you come to your weak hand, it will be a bit all over the place. What you can do next is ever so slightly force it with your thumb. So you're gonna press slightly harder. If we were to count those hits before, I don't know, we're getting what, 10? I don't know, how, how many do you think? 11, 12, something like that. Whereas now we wanna get maybe like six, five or six. So here we go. And you're still really just using your thumb and your first finger. It's kind of that motion, pressing down. We're using this as the hinge or the fulcrum, the balance point, and your thumb is pressing down. Again, try the weaker hand. So what you can do then is just a matter of practicing it and then putting them one after the other. Slowly but surely, building up the speed. have it how to do a buzz roll I feel like a magician <laughs> right hopefully you've learned something from this video I hope you've been able to now develop your buzz roll your stick skills if you've got any questions or comments feel free to let me know all my details are in the box below thanks for watching guys happy drumming take care I'll see you soon